Well, another big story we're following tonight. Attempted ATM thefts now happening outside of Baltimore City and Baltimore County. And this time, police say several suspects tried to steal an ATM from a bank in Glen Burnie. And now they're looking into another possible incident right in Anne Arundel County. WJZ live at 5 o'clock tonight. Jessica Albert joins us with details on this latest investigation. Jessica. Good evening, Rick. Police say that someone tried to steal the ATM from this bank earlier this morning, and later this afternoon, they found out that another ATM had been tampered in another part of the county. Police are investigating both incidents tonight. We have been covering the rash of ATM thefts in Baltimore City and County for months. Now they're happening in other parts of our area. I was like, really blown away that it's happening so frequently everywhere. Anne Arundel County Police say four suspects tried to steal an ATM at this CQ bank in Glen Burnie Thursday morning. They did not get away with any money. When police got there, they say they saw a Dodge Charger speeding away from the scene. Police are also investigating another incident. They say they got a call Thursday afternoon that an ATM at a BB&T on Brander Mill Boulevard in Odenton was tampered with. Since the spree started up in Baltimore County and Baltimore City, these are the first two that have occurred here in Anne Arundel County. Right now, since it's so fresh, we don't know if they're going to be related. Police also say they found a stolen truck after the attempted theft at the CQ. It was registered to an address in Odenton. They're investigating whether all of these incidents are related. It's a lot that's going on out here, you know, between the car break ins. And now this is seem like it's a trend now. Customers like Deborah Stokes say they hope the suspects are caught and given harsh punishments. And as long as you allow certain things to go on and nothing is being done, then it it grows. And then it gets to a point that is uncontrollable. And police stress tonight, if you see something, say something. They say the only way that they're going to prevent these crimes from happening is if they catch who's doing them. Reporting live in Glen Burnie, Jessica Alpert for WJZ.